Hey there, I'm professional psychic Karen Marie, and this is a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs for the week of February 20th to the 26th, 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you check out my Psyched Up Sundays video. I've posted the link below. I talk about the astrological transits for the upcoming week, and that's for everybody. So I have a recent past card that I've drawn for you, which is the adventure card, which feels like you went into some new adventure recently, someplace you hadn't been before, either figuratively or literally. Um, This child follows his intuition into the rainbow, not really knowing what to expect, but knowing it feels right. So that shows up in the recent past. The card that's representing you right now is the stress card. So we've got this monkey with the pin. This guy's juggling way too many things. He's got three legs and no matter how many arms and all these things. So it just feels like you're doing too much. Are you taking the time to just breathe and center and not letting yourself get too flustered knowing that you're doing the best you can and that is good enough. Everybody can wait. People that want a piece of you, they'll just have to wait and stand in line. You can't do more than the humanly as possible. So you have been doing a good job of getting a lot done, a lot accomplished is what it feels like to me lately, Libras. And so make sure you're breathing deeply in the middle of the stress and know that this too shall pass. I've drawn two cards for you for this upcoming week. One card is the guilt card. And so this is like ruminating on something you should have, could have, would have done. Like, oh, something's hanging on you. Oh my God, I need, I should have already done that. Or I shouldn't have said that. Or uh, it could also just be pulling your hair out. It doesn't have to be the feeling of guilt. It can be something where you've just got all these details and all these things you're trying to get to. And you're just like up in your head too much. So it's important to make sure you're taking the time to breathe and ground yourself and ask yourself, what right now do I feel guided to do? And then do it. And that's all that you can do. You're doing the best that you can. The slowing down card is also coming up. And I drew a second card just because this guilt card is kind of intensive. So this is saying that Okay, just it's about persistent, consistent effort. Just do the next right thing, right? It doesn't have to be done quickly or fast. It's important that you're doing persistent, consistent effort. Particularly if there's something you've been procrastinating about, just do five minutes towards it. Like just get something moving, something shifting. You may be extra tired and feel like you're the one that can't really be moving or shifting this week. It does feel like an intensive week all the way around. So just breathe deeply, know that we're in transformational times. It's intensive for everyone out there right now. Check in with yourself, find out what you need to do for self-care and allow yourself to move at a slower pace than you prefer. It's okay. It's just one week coming up. All right. Have a good one. Peace.